Much has been spoken about regarding the safety of the vaccine rollout here in the UK, particularly on social media. What would you like to say to our viewers firstly about the concerns that they may have regarding this process? So this uh, uh, vaccine has been rolled out across more than 20,000 people. And uh, it's been through the regulatory uh, process based on those 20,000 people. And that included groups which are older, so 65 to 85. It's included people with black and other ethnic minority groups. And it's given back the data looks just like any other vaccine that we've been through. So with these kind of numbers and these type of uh, analysis, it looks safe. And that's why it's been regulated. It takes years uh, in a situation of this kind to get a vaccine, in a normal situation, I should say, to be approved. This has taken a matter of months. Is speed an issue here? So I think the actual time uh, of the vaccination process has probably been pretty similar. What's been compressed is the regulatory um, uh, delays. So normally you'd have to go through various stages and you're in the queue of, of people that might be interested. and. Uh, this, in this case, we've given high priority and it's gone through much more quickly as a result of that, that priority, that, not because there's anything being missed out. Is there the possibility of adverse effects, side effects being recognised in the coming months? So it's, uh, the approval is now goes into the next stage. We haven't seen it in the first 20,000, but that doesn't say that there aren't some minor effects that might occur in some people and some groups. So there will be con constant monitoring over, you know, for the lifetime of, or during the next year at least. So uh, I think we, we should be aware of that, but clearly these are going to be relatively minor. There is a, a lot again about uh, younger people who can typically become asymptomatic from COVID-19. With that in mind, is it safer for them to get the virus rather than the vaccine itself? So of course, um, you know, there is less symptoms in the younger people, but actually it's not, they're not without symptoms. And some of these people may go on to get more severe inflammatory process or even potentially long COVID or other things. So I personally, I think it's much better to get the, the vaccine. And of course, we don't know yet how long your immunity lasts. And uh, it could be that the vaccine lasts longer than a natural infection. Yeah, how much do we know about the immunity? Because we don't know how long, but do we know how short? So obviously these vaccines are new and we haven't really had the time to explore how long they're going to last. Uh, it probably will mimic a, a natural infection. So we're talking months to, to years.